my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking all about coats, the trends of the season, the best coats to invest in, in my opinion, of course. And I'll be showing you guys some of the coats that I will be wearing on repeat this year and some of them have been in my wardrobe for so long so definitely looking for investment pieces but also a little bit of trend here and there so ready for this let's do it okay a big trend this season is the long coats so Coats that are like floor length will be your best friends in here this season. I would try to skip the super ultra mega cropped styles or even just cropped styles in general. Obviously, there's a time and a place for them. But if you're looking into investing in pieces that are classics and that are trending this season, then definitely look for floor length. So the camel coat that we have here, this is a Reese. I found it on uh, Nordstrom sale. And this is basically a more fitted coat than um, the oversized one. I honestly would say that I wear both of them kind of interchangeable, just really depending on how polished I want to look. So this is definitely a more polished uh, style, but also the oversized, oops, sorry, Wheezy. <laughs> The oversized, it's still really relevant and I personally love, love, love them. If I had to pick one, I would probably stick with the oversized simply because I can wear with like a chunky knit underneath. There's just more ways to wear it. And I love that slouchy feel, that kind of like extra fabric wrapping around in the winter time. This has been dry cleaned and I obviously haven't touched it since last year. I dry clean them once the season's over and that's about it, once a year. I have owned this specific Zara coat for since like 2017, you guys, maybe 2018, but I'm thinking 2017, which is insane. It's just so nice and so relevant still. It's very much in um, and that's why I recommend investing in pieces. I mean, it looks pretty loved right now had i gone with like a max mara or something a little higher end it would have definitely been the best bang for my buck but zara obviously makes amazing coats so here is this for you so i do want to show the difference on the shoulders is where you, you see the most i am going to wear the same little turtleneck and i'll link both of them here it's just an agoti pair of jeans and this turtleneck is from Amazon and I love guys out of all of my turtlenecks. This is the cutest and just feels so nice. So I will be linking both. But just so you can see exactly, it's like the closest to my body, like doesn't add very much bulk. Uh, if you want to look for different ways that I can wear this coat, I can definitely, or maybe you guys can pick a few different ones that are for me to style. But for the purposes of this video, I just want to keep on short and sweet and just show you guys the coats and how they look on me. You know, if you have a, an occasion to go to, I mean, both of them can be worn interchangeably, definitely. But this is more of like, you know, if you have a wedding, you're wearing, wearing something a little nicer, like a dress, um, you know, just fancier, then this will be, I would go for the one with, which is a little more fitted um, versus the slouchy one. Another super smart investment, and I recommend everyone having one this season, is the gray coat. So this is the new camel coat. Obviously camel is still in, it will probably always be, but this is the hottest color of the season as far as coats. So just goes with everything, it's just the cooler shade. I am loving them so much. I actually have three different ones here that I wanna show you guys. This first one, it has a little bit of this mohair look to it and it's a Cezanne piece. We all love Cezanne, I know that. I am a huge fan. I know that you guys, the majority are too. And this is just the Cezanne pieces that you know, super well made. Um, the buttons are covered in fabric. So it's just a nice and timeless in here. Slide in pockets and it does come just below my knee. So just a nice little oversized-ish coat. This is the size extra small, if I'm not mistaken. I will double check for you guys. But I love how it is 
polished and at the same time casual. I can definitely see myself wearing this with jeans and a t-shirt, but it also goes so well if you're wearing something a little bit dressier as well. So I love the fact that it has, that. I think the fabric to me and the color is the highlight of the sculpt and the fit too. It's just very intricate, doesn't have any seams in here, you guys. So it's just like this boxy fit that reminds me a lot of a breakfast at Tiffany's. Audrey Hepburn, she had this little pea coat that she wore in the movie and I might be totally delusional, but this is the image that comes to my mind. Um, she's wearing something like this, menswear, very cool. Next you have a Gap one. This is more of like a charcoal gray. Well, not so much, it's kind of like in between. You can see the difference in the tones here. So there's definitely a little more blue in this one, um, just darker too. So kind of like it depends on what you're looking for on a coat. I love, this is very much like the Zara one. There's a time and a place always for a coat like this. It's very timeless. Um, also the, well, it's not really technically a drop shoulder, but it does drop a little bit on me. And I believe that this is my true size extra small. Just double check here. It is the extra small. So if it's just a little tad bit on the oversized side, I'd say it's kind of like in between these two camels here as far as the fit. It does have black buttons. So just a little simpler, but definitely one that goes to so many, that works well for so many occasions. I personally do love having something to tie just in case I wanted to look a little more cinched. The sleeves are pretty long, which is also for good for, you know, tall girls with long arms, but it does have a little slit here. So just a nice little detail for a coat that it's a little more on the budget side. I mean, you can catch this guy on sale here you know, often I'd say. Um, so definitely wait for it because it will be, especially during the holidays, just nicely finished. I love the seams here. It's just a really great um, coat to invest in. The last great coat that I wanna talk about is this mango one that I purchased right when the fall sort of started, maybe it was end of summer still, and I just loved it so much. However, I have not had the chance to wear actually none of these. The only one I wore outside of the house was actually, no, I did wear this to the mall the other day. So I have worn both of these once, but it was just not necessary. It was more for like the look. And so I haven't worn the mango yet. Mango one is just um, kind of like a midi size. So definitely goes with the trend, the floor length trend. The fabric is more of like a chevron fabric. So there's just a little bit of a design. It's a wool mix, but all of these are lined. Actually I'm lined. This one is not lined. And I did feel just a tad bit of itch. Like if you're wearing, something short sleeve. If wool irritates you, you might be a little uh, disappointed. Uh, the Cezanne and the mango ones are fully lined, so you won't have that problem. I love the way that the mango coats are made, guys. It is truly the best bang for your buck when it comes to like the construction of the garment. It's just so beautifully done. There's no like loose seams or anything. There's extra detailing here on the cuff with the button, it's just the lapel, it's like a thick, a, like a wider one. It's a straight design, so kind of a oversize. I feel like this is the extra small, just a tad bit drop shoulder here. I'm looking at my mirror, that's why I keep on turning this side. And then it has the black buttons here. I don't love the black buttons, to be very honest with you. I wish they were a fabric button, that's why I, think the Cezanne is just the nicest one out of all of these. But this is just a really nice menswear, edgy, it kind of like fits all the categories of like when it comes to trend and best paying for your bucks. So really, really like the style and it does not have the tie in here. So just something to note. One thing I think it's important to mention is that actually Styles like this will look really good with chunky knits, whether it's like a turtleneck or a mock neck. It's the, the best way that I can see myself like a half zip up with a t-shirt underneath is like as a layering piece. So while this looks really good with just like thin pieces because it cinches the waist and it's just a thinner fabric, I feel like chunkier um, pieces like this look better when it's all 
chunked up when it's all layered up. So this would be more of like your everyday coats, but definitely can be worn for dressier occasions. So whether this is just a little more on the dressier side. I hope this makes sense. Okay guys, not much to be said about this next one. It's very, very similar to the Gap and the um, Zara one that I showed you. It is mango. Actually, it's more similar to the Rees one. It's not as oversized here as the Zara one. I just, I love this. It's kind of like an in-between, a super fitted coat and an oversized coat, kind of like a happy medium here. Works so well with this thin turtleneck, but I also think it works well with maybe a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something like this. Not too thick because it is more of a fitted style up here. So I'd see myself wearing this or reaching for this for like a work thing or like layering over a suit. I think it would look really, really sharp, really pretty. Um, it is just a longer length at, uh, as well. Does not have buttons here, which I love. I love a cleaner cut. You can definitely just tie the straps on the back here and just wear like so. I think this is really simple and beautiful, but also love my cinched waist too. I do like the mango has the loop, uh, the belt loops, just a little nicer done than the Zara ones, which is just that little string. So bonus points for mango for that. And this is just a little more of like an eggshell collar and versus this one, it's, it's like a true ivory here. So I feel like it's just a matter of taste. This might get super dirty, but I love a winter white. However, this is such a classic. Both of them are. So that's why I need a both. <laughs> okay, guys. So dark colors will always be in. I love this Ralph Lauren number here with the emblem. It just looks very, it's like a peak coat style, which is also something that it's a forever type of coat. Love the lining in here too. It's just so classic, so Ralph Lauren. It's just, I absolutely love this. It is another Nordstrom sale purchase. You guys know I love a Nordstrom sale and I usually get so many good, so much good stuff from them. So this is definitely more of a fitted coat. Very much work, very much dressy, very much like elevated in my opinion. Love the vintage metal here. It's not quite gold, bronze, I'd say with the emblem too, like the logo, the Ralph Lauren logo. And it does have on the um, cuff as well, the detailing. So just a beautiful, beautiful, beautifully made coat. This is navy. I love a good navy coat to wear with jeans too. So this is one of those that you can grab for different occasions and it's definitely a forever coat in your wardrobe. This is the size zero, I believe, and I love peak coats that are more fitted. However, when it comes to like what's trending, I'd say it will be more of like the oversized um, floor length style. This is more of a classic that's always in style, never goes out of style. But if you're trying to invest in something that is... Um, just more on trend, I'd recommend staying more with the drop shoulder oversized styles. I'm not even gonna put the mango on because this is another one that's just identical to those camels and this gray one and even the cream mango one. I like these coats so much that I tend to get them in different colors just because I wanna have a black coat. This is a really good one to wear and I believe I have a I think mango coat video featuring this more in depth. So I'll have it linked down in the box below. You guys can check it out. Just for time purposes, we're not here forever. But I do love this coat. If this is more of your vibe or you want to invest in something that's a classic and it's going to be around for many, many years to go, then I highly recommend this one, especially from Ralph Lauren, which is such a classic. What can I say? And that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope this was helpful to you um, to know what's trending, what's not, what should I skip, and like a little, you know, overview of the best investment codes of the season. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. That helps me so much. I always appreciate seeing that and appreciate your comments. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, um beijo. Tchau, tchau.